Hi everyone, here's how you make honeysuckle honey. Harvest a bunch of organic honeysuckle. Please remember to leave some open blooms for the bees to gather their pollen. Be very careful you've correctly identified the plant. If you're not sure what you're picking, it's better to err on the side of caution and just buy dried honeysuckle. The amount of flowers I picked was an estimate of how many loose flowers I can pack into a jar multiplied by about two. This isn't exact and however many blossoms you can pick will do just fine. I leave the blossoms out for about 15 minutes just sitting around so that it gives any critters I might have picked up to skedaddle. I'm not washing these flowers because introducing water can make your honey go bad. Start with some honey at the bottom of your jar and pack all the blossoms you've collected into that jar. If you're doing this from dried, just fill the jar about halfway to about three quarters with dried flowers. Honeysuckle and honey are both great for sore throats and mouth sores. The flower itself is said to help combat inflammation and infections, and it's supposed to be really great for skin problems. To be honest, I just make this for the amazing honeysuckle scent. Top the flowers with more liquid honey. You want to make sure that you have enough honey to coat all the flowers and enough to cover the blossoms by an inch or two. Anything not covered by the honey can go moldy. Then place a piece of wax paper over the jar opening and close the lid tightly. You want to make sure that the wax paper completely covers the jar opening and that there's extra hanging over the sides. I store mine on the kitchen counter because as it sits, the flowers rise to the top and I have to remember to invert the jar. I do this a couple of times a day so the honeysuckle is constantly coated and covered by the honey. You can eat this after a couple of days but I like the floral notes as it infuses longer. Here I am inverting it again. You can use this stuff in a mug and just steep it as a tea or you can slather some of this onto toast with some almond butter. Just use it as you would regular honey. Thanks for watching!